Hi, today we will uh, look at SOC level 1, which is uh, intro into junior security analysis role, role. and uh, we will look at the cybersecurity defense framework, which is first unit, it's junior security analysis intro. So, junior security analysis uh, role includes monitoring and investigating and alerts, uh, configuring and managing security tools, developing and implementing basics, IDS, which is intrusion detection system, and so on. Uh, mostly you will create uh, uh, tickets, which will, can be passed down to tier two and team leader as well, if needed. If the tra security threat is great, then it will be passed. So, uh, can be required from zero to two years of experience in security operations, basic understanding of network, um, which usually is open system interconnection model or TCP IP model. Here you can read about it. And uh, obviously a system like operation system, uh, which is Win, can be Windows, Linux, web applications, um, Mac it also works on Linux, so it's just general Linux. So after that, you could have um, better chances if you have Comp CompTIA Security Plus certification, which roughly costs like $400, if I'm not wrong. And so let's have a look at the whole operation, how the security operation analysis uh, can be in like career, what will your step be? So in the first step, you will be a junior security analyst, which is called also TRAGE, which is monitoring the network traffic logs and event, working on the tickets, creating tickets, and also um, trying to perform basic investigation and mitigation risks. Um, security operation analysis tier two, so tier 2 focuses on deeper investigation. Obviously, when you do an any analysis, you also will need to write a report. Mm, you will have to proactively hunt for adversaries, monitors, and resolve more complex alerts. If you are on the last stage of our security operations analysis, which is tier 3, you are called the threat hunter, which is uh, your responsibility is work on more advanced investigation, maybe even creating the models which will prevent uh, hackers from entering your system, perform advanced threat hunting and adversary research. So you could do all like the whole research about some problems. So here you just click, uh, ah, sorry, yes, you need to answer. So, uh, Answer so will be a triage, which is what will be your role as security, uh, junior security analyst. You will be triage specialist. Let's check. Here we go. It's right answer. Security operation center. Have a look at that. So, uh, uh, what is the responsibility of security operation center? It's ticketing, reporting, log collection, knowledge-based research and development, aggregation and correlation, threats, intelligent, CM, which is security information and event management, and reporting. Anything you will discover, you will need to report because description is one of the major uh, documentation projects process that needs to be done in every company that you work for. So as we say, security operation center, it's basically trying to protect many assets. Uh, assets, the most important, usually it's information, ideas, anything that cannot be replicated again uh, at the same format as it was before. So if you had a laptop and you lost the laptop, the problem wouldn't be to buy the new laptop. The problem would be to get the information that was on that laptop, maybe personal information, maybe business system, maybe anything that 
can not be rep- repeated. Which is this is responsibility of our SOC and prevention. Prevention methods include gathering intelligence data on the latest threats, threat actors. Uh, if you work in cybersecurity field, you will always need to have the latest updates, know the latest threat, uh, vulnerabilities, patching, anything. Blog list also needs to be updated uh, to be able to prevent any misuse of your system. Uh, monitor, monitoring and investigation. SOC team proactively uses security information and event management, endpoint detection response, and anything that can help your system to be more safer than it was before. So uh, you will be prioritize your alerts from low, medium, high, and crucial. It's usually based on the sys, uh, on the assets. How valuable is the asset? If uh, the va- if it will be lost, would it be crucial or wouldn't have any impact on your working system? But still, will be considered as a threat. So that's how uh, they categorize these things. And there is also risk assessment that usually uh, every company needs to have to have a better. Um, cybersecurity production because if you know what to protect and what to concentrate on is better than just guessing and every company has it risk assessment is can also can also be provided from the third party so um, we read it Now we can uh, experience a day of life of junior associate security analysis. Um, so to understand the job responsibilities and to have a little bit to try. Let's have so press continue and here we have a lot of logs and we have date stamp visit with timestamp and the message which is what description of what happened on that day and uh, that stamp so uh, successful ssh sorry it, it's not it is time stamp yeah i think could could be times if i'm not wrong so a successful ssh identification that rise that's not good <laughs> let's try again uh, so the user josh login successfully so as we said this is multiple fail logins attempt it's not a problem because sometimes people do forget the passwords and as long as it was um no like authorized and not until authorized identification then it will be okay Logon failure, specify account password has expired. That's also okay because sometimes password, passwords get reviewed and uh, you do need to check if your password is uh, up, like was changed. Because if you never change your password, it's obviously for some time, maybe hacker can detect it and log in into your system. So we choose unauthorized uh, like access and there are websites on the internet that allows you to check the reputation of IP address to see whether it's malicious or suspicious. That's because some hackers use uh, VPNs or maybe some areas where you can uh, get like uh, access to the internet through illegal things or maybe just the hacker IP address. So the IP address, yeah. Um, uh, to see that IP address, sorry, let's come back. I'm, I don't, I missed it. To, um, this we see the IP address is 221.181 and white85 and 159. I have written down over here, so I don't need to remember it. But if you do remember it, it will be really good because you will have a good memory. So now you have 85. One five nine. These are bits as a response. There are many open source databases like 
uh, Abuse, IPDB, and Cisco Talos Intelligence. So you can report the, any IP address that you found malicious, which is can be a company, can be you, but uh, you will help um, the security analysis to detect any malicious IP address before they get hacked. So as we see, this is IP address was from China and uh, it's considered malicious because it was unauthorized access. We shouldn't worry too much if it was a failed identification attempt, but you probably noticed a successful identification attempt from the malicious IP address let's declare a small incident even and escalated. There is some great staff working at the company, but you wouldn't want to escalate this wrong person who is not in charge of your team department. So here we got the task. So you will need to find who will you send this um, information to. And obviously, as we study in cybersecurity, it will be uh, SOC, security team leader. Let's try it. I forgot to write his name. So we need to uh, choose uh, who will, will send our security um, security information about this uh, malicious uh, unauthorized access uh, IP address to someone. So first, let's answer some couple of questions. So malicious IP address was two two one dot one eight one and one eight five one five nine. Yes, it's correct. So now we need to, who, to whom did you escalate the event associated with malicious IP address? So uh, because it's cybersecurity, we need to send it to SOC team leader, which is Will Griffin. And we write here Will Griffin. We choose the staff, choose the staff member. You got the permission to block malicious IP address. So obviously you can't block IP address unless your team leader agrees to this malicious event that's going on. So you press continue and you add this address that we wrote down. And I made a little mistake. 159. So now you press block and you have a flag. This flag you need to enter over here because there's the message that you found and right, you finish the, this room and you can continue to the next one. Hope to see you next video. Bye!